welcome to another episode of Real Toy Trains. Here we see Mass Coastal pulling into New Bedford with an interesting consist, two reefers and a ballast train. Join us as we follow this train into the New Bedford yard and to do some switching at Maritime Terminal. We see Bay Colony 1706 throttling up at the south end of the Y. Strangely enough, today they have no cars to interchange with Mass Coastal. They will turn their train on the Y and head back in the reverse direction. Mass Coastal will leave their ballast train safely in the yard. 2010 will pull into the Maritime Terminal siding to retrieve two empty reefer cars. Reefer cars are brought to Maritime Terminal full of fish, likely from the west coast. is quite the handsome locomotive. Bonus points for anyone that can put a model of this locomotive in the comments. Let's see if you can guess. Now how's this for an interesting move? 2010 will take out the empty reefers, run around its train in the New Bedford yard, hook on to the two reefers that have fish loaded up from the west coast, shove all four reefers back into the maritime terminal siding and leave the two reefers full of fish for distribution on the east coast. Something ultra rare for the maritime terminal siding. A four car train. Look at this. I'm not even sure if this happened back in the Conrail days. heavy snow had tripped one of the air brake levers in the train, but in no time, the conductor had it back to working order. After a hard day's work, MC4 leaves New Bedford Freight Yard. Join us now as they take their time back to Taunton. Watch as they cross over crossings in New Bedford and East Freetown, Massachusetts.